Hello, today I will be teaching about two different types of non-chord tones. In music, melodies have certain harmonies known as chords, but not every note in a melody is a member of the harmony or chord. These in-between notes are called non-chord tones, and they can make melodies sound a lot more interesting. First non-chord tone is called a passing tone. This is basically just a note that passes between two chord tones. Here's my first chord. Here's my passing tone. Here's my last chord. So it's basically a chord tone that moves one harmony to the next in the same direction. Passing tones always step and resolve by step to connect one chord to the next. Since they pass between two chord tones or harmonies, they may look different. Like some may pass through the root to the third, third to the fifth, fifth to the root, fifth to the seventh. That's the seventh chord. Um, my example is in the key of C. So I start with a four chord and the passing tone connects to the inverted one chord right here. So this is the chord, the four chord the passing tone, which is not part of the chord, and then the one chord. So yeah, this is like the sixth, seventh to the one in the scale. To help remember what a passing tone is, you can kind of think about when you're trying to practice in a practice room, but people keep passing by your room and looking in the door. The next type of non-chord tone is called the neighbor tone. This is a non-chord tone that steps away from the chord, then resolves to the chord in the opposite direction. So here's my first chord. Here's my neighbor tone. And then here's my last chord. So like its name, it kind of neighbors the chord and then goes back to it and it's approached by step as well. The neighbor tone is a non-chord tone that like its name, it's a step away from the chord or neighbor of the chord. And then it resolves to the chord. So right here I have, this is in the key of C as well. I have the one chord right here. And then the neighbor tone, which is not part of the chord, obviously, um, that leads to the sixth the six minor chord. So as you can see, this chord, this neighbor tone neighbors this chord, then leads to the next chord right here. To remember the neighbor tone, you can think of when you're trying to practice and your neighbor is singing or playing way too loudly, so you can't focus or practice. All you can hear is their singing. Peaches, 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 That's it. I can't practice my neighbor tones with all this noise. Shiny. <laughs> 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 <laughs>